Hey there guys! Lazy evening vlog. Uh, no makeup, sorry about that. Today's been a heck of a day. I've just been so sleep deprived and growing a baby takes a lot out of you. So I've just been kind of in a funk all afternoon. Um, and I thought it was a decent enough time to sort of cuddle up in bed and uh, discuss sort of a, a topic that I've been thinking about for a while um, now that this is kind of a follow-up to that other planner funk video where I had too much energy and uh, not enough things to do um, but basically about hormones and planning and so this video is probably not applicable to guys quite as much um, but all of you menstruating women out there represent um, I don't know if you guys have noticed but I know I definitely did that um, my menstrual cycle affected my ability to be productive. Um, I know I mentioned in that other video, so I brought it up, um, that I was ovulating uh, that weekend, which was why I had so much extra energy and nothing to do with it. And I'm probably going to get this wrong, but I think it's estrogen that gives you energy when you're ovulating, because there's that's that surge. And then progesterone makes you tired towards the end of your cycle and the beginning of it. But I could be wrong, I could have that backwards. But basically the point is you generally find yourself more energetic and driven um, around the time you're ovulating, as well as just like friskier and potentially more attractive to your husband. Um, you know, maybe you smell better or he does, I don't know. Stuff like that. It's like hormones are weird because they want you to promulgate the species. Um, but then the rest of the month, like when you're around your period, like right before and during, I always found that that is the week that I have no energy, no focus. I have a brain like pea soup and it's just so difficult to think and to get things done. Um, and the thing that's been really weird, because like before, prior to October. Um, it was just, it was a cycle, you know? And I would have that week at work where um, I was feeling really blah and had a hard time getting stuff done and I was not as productive that week at work. Um, but I knew that the next week things would be, you know, looking up and the week after that I'd be ovulating and I would be getting ahead on work and it was fine. So I knew that like it would end and I knew roughly when it would end. And so I started to just sort of accept that lull in energy as just sort of part of being human, part of being a woman, and um, it was just normal, um, and I just kind of tried not to get myself down, like I gave myself permission to not feel stressed about the things that I wasn't getting done, because it wasn't my fault that I couldn't get them done, it was just the fault of like my hormones. Um, and I knew that it would end, you know, so that I was able to give myself a little bit of leeway and forgiveness uh, because I knew that the next week I would make up for it. Um, but now that I'm pregnant, I have no idea what's going on with my hormones. And basically it's like being in that low point all the time. It's the combination of the hormones um, that make me feel just kind of spacey and like I can't think clearly or focus. I cannot focus on things. Like getting the simplest task done requires me to rouse everything in me and it's just, it is like trudging through thick snow or something. I don't know, I'm trying to come up with a metaphor here that makes sense, but it's just like extra work to do anything. Couple that with the fact that I need more energy and I'm not always getting the sleep I need. I mean, I try to. I'm usually pretty good about getting sleep, but like the nights when I don't, it hits me twice as hard. And then also on top of that, I'm not drinking as much caffeine. I mean, I usually only drink a cup a day and that's what I've been sticking to, but like I can't really take a, an afternoon cup of coffee without feeling guilty about it because I'm probably not supposed to. Um, and so, yeah, it's all just sort of this perfect storm of not being super productive um, at work or in life. Like, I have not been using my bullet journal as much. Um, I've been trying to sort of 
I don't know, take that into account when planning, and, uh, like, I, I'm not doing a great job of it, but I'm trying to forgive myself, um, and I'm just skipping entire days and it's fine, or, like, um, on Tuesday this week, I wrote out my to-do list for the day, but I didn't write the header, because I needed a different pen for that, and I was like, I'll do that later, but then come Wednesday morning, I realized I hadn't done a single thing that was on my list for Tuesday. So instead I just put Wednesday's header on top. So that was serendipitous. Um, I think I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, so anyway, I don't know um, how long this will end. Like usually my lethargy lasts maybe a week tops, you know, like three days, something like that. Um, and then I'm able to like rally and, and push forward and then everything's okay. Um, with this pregnancy, like, I don't know how much leeway I should give myself, because if I'm too forgiving, I'm never going to get anything done for the next seven months. Um, but also maybe, like, I hear, I hear the second trimester is pretty good energy-wise, and so maybe I'll feel really productive for an entire three months, and that would also be amazing. Uh, and then maybe I'll crash and burn in the third trimester and have no energy again. But I really can't predict it in the same way I could while I was cycling. <laughs> So, um, I guess in this video I wanted to explain all of that, sort of muse about it, and ask you guys, because I know a lot of, not, probably not all, but most I think of my audience are ladies, um, have you guys found that your monthly cycle affects your ability to be productive? Um, like me, does it, like, actually influence what you're able to put on your to-do list and what you're able to get done? Are you able to forgive yourself when you're feeling lethargic and take advantage of those times when you're on a high? Um, and then, yeah, if anyone is a mom and has any uh, advice for getting a little bit of extra energy in the afternoon when I feel like I'm just slogging through my day and barely getting anything done, uh, those would be very much appreciated too. But in the meantime, I'm going to try to get some extra sleep tonight to make up for everything I didn't get last night and hope that that helps me tomorrow be a little bit more productive at work. Thank you guys for watching. I post videos three times a week, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss them. See you in the next one. Bye.